there is one thing that the that the that the repugs are in fierce um uh, fierce agreement on, which is gutting democracy by preventing people from voting, or having their votes counted and set and setting the GOP up so that it wins elections even though more Americans want Democrats as leaders and there's a reason why. But underneath this agreement are rising tensions over what that push against democracy should look like. Um, Donald Trump and the more Trumpist wing of the of the of the GOP favor a brash approach that's based on hyping up lies about stolen elections, um, promulgating conspiracy theories about fake ballots and hacked voting machines, and defending the January 6th um, insurrectionists as martyrs for a just cause. The more institutional repugs, on the other hand, are, um, they're becoming we wearier of this shameless approach. Some of the more institutionalist um, repugs have been trying to rewrite the big lie. They long for anti-democratic propaganda that is subtler, less embarrassing, and most importantly, it gives them cover within the mainstream media for the radical authoritarian moves um, and views, basically. The most recent gambit is an attempted redefinition of a rigged election, claiming it's not, into, it's not in, a, in, in a reference to the, to the more outlandish conspiracy theories, but to get, but to get the out, but to the um, get out the vote don donations by the Facebook um, CEO Mark Zuckerberg. Basically, it's being portrayed as somehow sinister. It's a, it's, an, it's a hysteria based in racism, but it gives conservatards something factual to point to. Zuckerberg did give money to pro-democracy groups to justify the non-stop ranting about rigged elections, but the strategy is very much like what's going on with schools, where the teaching of, of, um, of slavery and Jim Crow and history is used as a pretext for paranoid screaming about, about critical race theory. Um, the repug propagand uh, propagandists want to have their rigged election cake, but be able to pretend to be serious people in mainstream politics, Trump and some of his most loyal sycophants, however, are not having this. Last week, Bill O'Reilly had interviewed Trump for his misnamed No Spin show and tried to get Trump to parrot back the more mainstream friendly Zuck Bucks rewrite of the big lie, but Trump stu stubbornly refused to play along. This is the this is the real rigged election, O'Reilly insisted, referring to Zuckerberg's financial support to pro democracy groups. It wasn't voter it wasn't voter uh, machine fraud or dead people. Um, Trump, whose jaw visibly tightened when he realized that O'Reilly was trying to sell the software taking the big lie, interrupted. Um, it was it was everything he insisted, clearly not ready to have his over-the-top lies about a stolen election replaced with this limp whining about a garden variety um, about a garden variety get uh, get out the boat effort. Um, um, the my pillow crackheads Mike Lindell, one of the biggest um, stolen election conspiracy um, dumbasses, is also not is also not too happy about the efforts to launder the big lie. On a recent episode of his Frank show, Lin, um, the crackhead Lindell responded to this O'Reilly interview with Trump by yelling. The machines were the big steal and insisting that O'Reilly's delusional. Well, of course, Trump's delusional. That's, there's no doubt about that. Also, in the Just Keep Telling the Unvarnished Version of the Big Lie um, camp, basically a Steve Bannon, despite being recently despite, despite recently being held in contempt of Congress for refusing to answer a subpoena that was issued by the January 6th Commission, he's been hosting the Crackhead Lindell on a show where the Crackhead Lindell keeps telling wild stories about how homes with only two residents somehow voted 20 times, which they didn't. Um, Bannon himself is pushing claims that, de that Democrats want to steal the gubernatorial election in Virginia, which they didn't, and prepping his listeners to reject any outcome where Democrat Terry McAuliffe beats the Republican, um, the Re Repug Glenn Youngen. Um, but while Bannon seems unruffled by the threat of actual jail time for his seditious behavior, other Re Repugs have reason to worry about both the legal and electoral consequences of the role, un uncut form of the big lie. New reports from the Washington Post and the Rolling, and the Rolling Stone have started to expose how much conspiracy um, there was by Trump's um, sycophants fired to the January 6th riot, um, the Klan riot, basically making it clear that there was nothing spontaneous or accidental about Trump's speech that incited an angry crowd to storm the Capitol that day. Um, another dumbass, John Eastman, who's the Federalist Society lawyer who schemed to overturn the election was, uh, was the field that inspired the Capitol riot, is clearly concerned that he might actually face a consequence or two for his role in the attempted coup. He is now saying that it was crazy to think it was a viable strategy to demand that, that the vice squatter Mike Pence would um, vacate the election results and turn the 2020 election over to Trump, which is exactly what the insurrectionists were trying to force Pence to do. But Eastman is quite literally the guy who came up with this crazy idea. He wrote a memo for it and worked with Trump's sick event in a war room at a D.C. hotel for weeks in an effort to make this crazy scheme all happen. The reason that Eastman, O'Reilly, and other more traditional repugs are eager to regret the history of the big lie in the insurrection is not mysterious. The reporting on the coups on War Room and Bannon being held in contempt shows that the January 6th Commission may not be as toothless as they ho hoped it would be. There's a real possibility that the extent of the conspiracy will, will, will be revealed, and there is even 
um, there is even, however, a faint possibility of legal consequences for the participants. Um, in addition, it's widely believed that in GOP circles that the insurrection is turning off moderate voters who will be inclined to vote for the GOP is so, so long that they don't, didn't think that doing so would be tantamount to supporting a literal fascist uprising. But Trump, the crackhead Lindell down and Bannon, are right to think that the GOP base doesn't want to water down the business history of the big lie in the insurrection. The base wants their conspiracy theory simple and overt, and they want the inter and they want and they want the Klan insurrection celebrated, which it shouldn't be, and not shoved on the Murray hole. Um, Daniel Milbank of the Washington Post got a taste of this rally over the weekend when he attended a Virginia Klan rally for Youngkin that he initially thought would be a little more tasteful than a stereotypical maggot gathering because the attendees were professionals and some even wore a North Face. But when one looked past the bland exterior of the country club um, repugs, it was nothing more than a sea of mini um, crackhead Lindells and mini Bannons. Um, but even but even here is um, but even here in the upscale suburbs, um, the repug um, the repug clan rally goers that be buttonholed overwhelmingly accepted the big lie about the twenty twenty election, and they ex and they and they and they keep claiming that there was fraud in the gubernatorial election too, which there wasn't. Um, this is what Millbank Millbank wrote. If repugs subscribe to the big lie here, then it prevails everywhere. And this is the dilemma facing the repugs going into the 2022 midterms. Many leaders desperately want to put a moderate face on the party, making it um, palatable to suburban voters who find the politics of the, inter of the Klan interaction unsettling or distasteful. But in doing so, they run the risk of turning up their own voters who are done with what they may see as pussyfooting or are ready and, are ready to, and they are ready to embrace a more flagrantly um, fa fascist approach. Who will win the struggle depends on both the midterm elections and how serious the January 6th commission gets about holding those behind the insurrection accountable. But right now, I wouldn't bet against Trump and, I, and his crew of unabashedly seditious conspiracy theorists. So if you like the video, give the video a like and subscribe to my, um, to my um, YouTube channel, RBW King. And also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out. And thanks for listening.